unboxing video today, and again, it's not a tonic craft kit, it is the next um, colour trend for uh, tonic and craft perfect and nouveau. Uh, so, this year they're bringing out four different colour trends, each um, releasing at different times within the year. Uh, the first one came out in February and that was the Dream in Colour and I'll make sure to link that video down below. And the second release is called Woodland Walk and it's full of gorgeous um, greens, browns, yellows and all sort of rich, like warm um, tones and great for your masculine projects as well. Um, I have nearly everything. I'm missing the alcohol markers and the aqua flows but I'm going to go through um, everything else that I've got and I'm going to show you um, a couple of the products in uh, use as well. My last video, I think I had a lot, well I can't remember exactly how many samples I had, but I think I had more samples in that video than this one. But um, I wanted to get this filmed while I had still have those samples. Um, yeah, so, I don't know where to start. We've got, um, again, just as I said last month, none of the products are new products, like as in a brand new thing we've never seen before. They're all um, the products from the existing ranges within Nouveau and Craft Perfect, but they're just brand new colours that all work brilliantly together. It's so great to have everything that works so well together. Like You don't really have to think about it. If you keep your collections together in their colour trends, uh, it makes it so much easier to um, like make a quick card really because all of your colours are just there perfect waiting for you. So uh, let's look at the embellishment mousse first. So we've got two new colours of embellishment mousse. This is just the regular embellishment mousse not the expanding mousse um, but I've got quite a few videos on my channel using embellishment mousse and this one is called forest green and it is a really gorgeous colour. I've been using this one and this one is called Soft Truffle. I haven't used Soft Truffle yet, but it is a really nice, um, kind of a pale copper, kind of. It's like a brownie coppery kind of a colour. And that green is just stunning. I really love the green. Um, so those are the two new embellishment mousses. Then we have the shimmer powders. Everybody goes mad over shimmer powders. And we've got Falling Leaves, which if you got... Uh, kit number 20 of the Tonic Craft Kit, you would have got Falling Leaves in there as well. It's really stunning colours. I've actually um, did a swatch of each of these to show you. Um, so it's got loads of um, blues and greens in it, and it's just such a beautiful colour tone. I mean, it, I love the um, the colours of the Nouveau Shimmer Powders that have multiple colours within them, because it makes you look much more arty because it looks like you've um, thought about mixing a blue and a green and a yellow together but um, it's all just come out of one bottle and it's really simple to do and you can see the gorgeous uh, micery effects on there as well and the kind of speckle patterns that you can get when using a shimmer powder really really gorgeous and then the other one which I'm really excited about is the golden sparkler look at all the colours that are in there when I put this on my um, paper first I was like they, where are all those colours? They do not look like they're in there because the powder just looks like it's going to be gold but as soon as they hit the water they go crazy with all the colour. I mean um, there is probably majority gold once it's dried but look at the gorgeous colours that are in there. You've got like blue and red and yellow and greens and they're, they're just all within that one powder. It looks so magical when you use it. I'm sure I'm going to be using this um, in some videos soon, so, but look at it, it's so gorgeous. And look at all the mica that's in there, that gold is stunning. So that's the two shimmer powders that we get. Um, I've got quite a few videos on shimmer powders um, on my channel as well. I'm pretty sure I've done, um, like, top tips or something on how to how to actually use them as well. So that is those. Then we have a brand new glimmer paste. Last month we had a glitter accents, but this month we have got a glimmer paste, and this one's called Rich Cocoa. And it's a really gorgeous um, rich brown colour. You can see that, it's really pretty. I mean, I'm not really that fussed over browns, but um, the browns that are in this kit are so pretty, and like. I don't know, I, I don't usually reach for sort of more neutral colours, I usually go for like bright pinks and purples and greens and blues and yellows and stuff, but I really am enjoying getting to use lots of brown products. So that's the gorgeous brown, and I have a sample 
I was going to show these at the end, but I might as well just show you as I go along. So this was using the brown on one of um, the new mirror cards that I'll show you as well. And that is one of the new drops in the centre, that's the dirty bronze colour. So that's what it looks like once it's dry. Um, yes, actually. Okay, while I'm showing you things, I'll show you, these were two of my samples using um, the, what colour is it called? Forest Green um, Embellishment Mousse. I will come back to these samples again as well to show you, but that was just a couple of uses of it there. So then we have the um, Wild Olive Mica Mist. We got a mini version of this in kit number 20 of the Tonic Craft Kit, so go and watch my videos. I think I used it in two of my videos over there, or using that kit, not over there. They're just in my channel. Um, but it's a gorgeous, uh, like a, a deep olivey green, but it's kind of a bit gold as well. Kind of comes across gold when you spray it out, but it's really a really pretty colour. Then we have two new embossing powders. I really love their embossing powders. Um, we have um, Golden Sunflower, which is a really sort of mustardy colour. And this one um, is actually just glossy. That one's just a glossy finish. And then we have um, Magical Woodland, which is really, really stunning. Um, and it's full of glitter and it's I think it's got like green powder but then gold and green glitter within it um, I did a couple of little swatches to show so that's the um, what's it called I want to give you the right name golden sunflower it's really pretty and then this one is the magical woodland yes magical woodland and as I was tipping it back into the pot I noticed how much gold glitter there was within it I didn't notice when I was tipping it out but it's really pretty and it's sort of got darker tones um, in it as well so it's sort of little speckles of a darker colour and you get tiny speckles of a darker colour in the yellow as well which I really like so they're the embossing powders then we have the ink pads which are really lovely colours I've used these two so far uh, we have soft suede pistachio green and amber ochre as well and they go perfectly with everything this is like the exact same colour as one of the drops and it goes really well with the mousse as well and um, what was I using? I was using the yellow with the embossing powder that works perfectly with the embossing powder and the little um, butterflies as well so they're the ink pads exactly the same as all the other um, diamond hybrid ink pads that New Nouveau and Tonic have brought out they are um, hybrid so they work with uh, water based products and um, alcohol based products as well so I really love having hybrid inks now because you don't have to think about what you're going to do with your, the rest of your project like if you just decided you wanted to stamp a background um, and you weren't sure what you were going to do with it after you'd stamped it in the past you'd have to be like well do I think I might add water or do I think I might come back in with alcohol pens but with these it doesn't matter because they're not going to move with water, but they're not going to bleed with your alcohol pens either. So, I love their ink pads. Then, we have four brand new colours of Nouveau Drops. In the last collection, we had, like, one of each kind. Like, we had um, the gloss, the jewel, the glitter and the metallic. But this month, we have got one jewel drop, which is a really nice um, brown colour. And it is Cocoa Blush. But it's a really pretty brown colour. Um, let me get this. It's that kind of a... It doesn't look as dark as in the bottle. It's a really nice sort of soft brown colour. goes really nicely with the mousse, actually. Um, then the other three are all metallic colours. So we have Dirty Bronze. We have mustard gold and we have soft mint and that gold is just really gorgeous and this mint one actually, I was really enjoying the mint one. And if you got um, kit 20 you got a, a small sampler bottle of the dirty bronze. Um, but those are the three metallic tones. They're really, really pretty. OK, 
Okay, and then finally we have the um, four new glitters, sequins, confettis. So we have Garden Grove, Treasure Chest, Champagne Shine sequins, which are in three different sizes, and we have the Sunset Yellow Butterflies. So these two are the glitters. They are really pretty. They're it's like holographic. They've got all the different colours within them. I really love this one, the Treasure Chest one. And here's a card where I use them both together to create a really cool pattern effect. They look really stunning together. Then um, we have the Champagne Shine sequins, which we also got in Kit 20 of the Tonic Craft Kit, so those uh, videos are using some of these in them. And then, this is my favourite, look at the little butterflies. If you got some of the original um, sets of confetti and sequins that they brought out, um, there was little purple butterflies, I think they were amethyst butterflies, um, and now we have gorgeous little yellow ones, and they're so cute. I've used them in a shaker card already. Okay, so that is all of the Nouveau stuff that we get in the new Woodland release, a Woodland Walk release of, of Colour Trend. Um, so I'll just put all this back. And then... There's also eight new packs of card, and let me put them in some kind of order. And again, we have um, all the different types of card that um, they do in their Craft Perfect range, and we also have another patterned paper pad, which again is called Woodland Walk, because it's part of that collection. Just take my scraps out. I'll show you the paper pad first. So six by six, eight designs, six of each, 160 GSM, and they're double sided. Um, they're really gorgeous patterns. I love the patterns that they do because they're like simple, so you can add other stuff to them. Um, so this is a gorgeous, like, kind of looks like you know when you see mowed lawn and they've um, done it in the stripy pattern. Um, it looks a bit like that, and it's a, a lighter green and a darker green. Then on the back of that, we have a little um, tree motif, which is really sweet and really like a funky little modern tree, or it could be a little branch. Then we have a more of a yellowy green with two tones of polka dots on top of it, and we have this sort of hand-drawn dotty lines within the sort of white on top of a, a lighter green. Then we have a dark yellow chevron on top of light yellow, and on the back of that we have um, these white sort of rainbowy scallopy patterns on top of the sort of lighter yellow colour. And then we have brown, and we have a gorgeous plaid pattern. And then on the other side we've got sort of hand drawn stripey effect with a darker stripe on top of a lighter pattern of background. Then we have our eight packs of cards. So we have two. Of the classic, well you just saw me then, <laughs> so we have two of the classic card, um, which is there, let me show you an actual sheet of each of these, uh, the one that has the texture on one side of it, and then um, the smooth colour on the other side, um, and we have tan brown, and grass green and the textured card always comes in 10 sheets to a pack and they're A4 sheets um, in the pack as well so we have those ones then we have one of the stunning pearlescent cards which are double sided this one is called fresh mint it's a really gorgeous colour you can see that pearlescent finish and it's on both sides and this one has the um, coloured core as well so it's really great for your die cutting you don't see that white edge then we have green leaves which is one of their speciality card stocks um, I've got a little piece left um, and it looks like sort of leaves on the forest floor it's really pretty and if you got um, Tonic Craft Kit 20 you got one sheet of each of these in it as well um, then we have Flourishing Green uh, which is one of their satin um, mirror boards it's a really stunning green colour goes really well with the collection then we have Rustic Dusk, which I've used um, quite a bit, you can just see reflections really. Um, but it's a gorgeous sort of um, a reddy brown colour. 
And then finally we have two of their speciality handmade cotton papers. Uh, we have yellow bamboo, which looks like this. It kind of got like um, a stitched effect on like wrinkled up fabric with a stitched effect across it, it looks like to me. Um, but it's a really gorgeous, pearlescent, sort of mustardy yellow colour. And then my favourite of all of them is the oak wood grain, and it's really, really pretty. So we get that gorgeous wood grain pattern, and it's on black. So um, if you wanted a different colour of wood, you could use your embellishment mousses to um, add colour to that, or you could just, um, like a gold embellishment mousse on top of this would be gorgeous, because it would really pick out the, the wood grain. So that is all of the Craft Perfect, that's in the New Woodland Walk collection and I've showed you all of the um, new Vibe products that I've got as well. And then um, I just thought I would show you the samples that I've made too, just to, I did show you a few of them, but to show you a few more samples. So this one uses, this was the ink pad on the edges and then I used some of the um, embossing powder right on the very edge of that card as well and you can see how well the ink and the embossing powder goes together. Then I've used one of the patterned papers in the background. Um, I've used the grass green card and the, the leaf card stock um, to create this um, frame. I've used that bamboo one behind my shaker and I've used the little butterflies within the shaker as well. Um, so that's all the bits and pieces that I've used on that card. Then, um, I love doing this positive and negative effect with stencils. Um, and this was using both of the shimmer powders together. Um, so that all of those gorgeous orangey, golden um, and the little bit of black as well. That's all from that golden sparkler. And then the green and blues and yellows are from the falling leaves. I just did a really sort of random pattern but I really love those colours together they look really really pretty and that's the um, satin mirror board colour for the sentiment and then this is the negative of the effect so I'm, I filmed creating the backgrounds for these cards so I'm going to do um, a video of like making backgrounds with the Woodland Walk collection um, just a few different like background techniques that you can do with the, the, um, the product um, so this was putting the stencil onto your card, tapping a load of the powder through, then spraying it with water, then taking off the stencil and flipping it onto another piece to get this design. So that is um, how that turns out. I love that effect. I really, I always love the negative more than the positive. Um, and then that's using that um, leafy cardstock and the rustic um, colour of mirror card as well. Then I was experimenting with both of the glitters together. This is a technique, there's like an age old technique of using um, lace to create this kind of a pattern. And the way you do it is you put your double sided adhesive down, you stick the lace to the double sided adhesive and make sure it's really pressed in. You take one colour of glitter and burnish it all over it, tip off the excess, peel the lace off and then add another colour of glitter to um, the exposed areas of adhesive and you get this really cool pattern but I thought why can't you do it with your die cut so if you keep the release paper from um, your adhesive and die cut it into a pattern you can do exactly the same but instead of using the lace you use the die cut waste from um, like the waxy backing paper and it just it works perfectly so that's how I did this background using the two new colours of glitter then this was just showing the new glimmer paste colour and this is the dirty bronze uh, nouveau drops in the centre and I did it onto that rustic um, mirror card just to give a different look. It, do, it does kind of splodge a bit because it's a slick surface but um, I, I really like the look actually so that's that one. Then I was just experimenting with um, the mousse and the ink pads as well actually. This was that uh, was it pistachio green? I'm not sure the colour. Um, but I just scraped the ink pad onto my cardstock. You just sort of hold it at an angle and pull it down the card just to give this sort of like brush stroke effect. Then I used a spatula and scraped on some of the um, Nouveau embellishment mousse. Then I just added on some of the Nouveau drops as well. And you can see how perfectly all those three colours go together. They're all that perfectly minty pistachio green kind of a colour and then I've used the um, mint pearl cardstock and the uh, satin 
green cardstock as well to do the sentiment and to create a little border around it. And then finally I was playing around with scraping the green embellishment mousse through a stencil and um, tipping on some of the green glitter and tapping it into the mousse so it really stayed in there and I even sprinkled on a little bit of the um, shimmer powder, the green shimmer powder as well and then I've um, incorporated the embossing powder too which look at this, this is the glitter and then on the edge is the glittery embossing powder and you can see how perfectly they go together like you can you can hardly tell that they're a different product they go so perfectly together um, so I actually stamped and heat embossed the little happy and then I just dragged my ink pad around the edge of the card and gave it a border with the embossing powder as well so um, I hope you enjoyed that up close look at or the unboxing of all of the um, products well pretty much all of them from the uh, Woodland Walk release from Nouveau, Craft Perfect and Tonic Studios um, and I hope you enjoyed having a few little samples to see as well so thank you so much for watching, bye!